In the beginning, combat was very boring. You would press attack, and it would miss, and there was nothing you could do. Or maybe you would hit, and there was nothing you could have done about that either. And then they would attack you, and maybe they'd miss, or maybe they'd hit. You could snark, but it didn't really look like it did much, even though it actually made them attack less often, but players wouldn't read that. It was pretty boring. The game dev looked upon thy combat system and realized that it was not good. So he added different sasses, some which would work against some foes and some which would not. It was eh, but it was a step in the right direction. It felt a little bit coin flip-ish as to whether the one you would pick would be the one that worked against that enemy. The game dev also decided to have items that worked in combat. And this was pretty good. It added some strategic decision as to when you would use a potion, whether it would be this fight or another one, and at what time in the fight you would use it since it used your turn. But it was still pretty meh. And then the game dev took a bit of a break from working on the turn-based combat system and decided to introduce some non-turn-based combat, and that was pretty awesome. And then the game dev spoke. He said, let there be mini-games, and it was so. And the mini-games determined whether your attacks would hit or whether they would miss. It was good, but there was still much to be done. More mini games were to come. Mini games for everything. Mini games for slapping yourself in the face. Mini games for flexing your pecs. The game dev's heart was full of many things, but mostly mini games. And now his mini game fueled rampage turns to the sass mechanic. Since the dawn of Cat Powered UFO, the sass mechanic had been pretty meh. You could pick which one you would do, and you just had to be lucky whether that was the one that worked on that opponent. But no more, as now the sass also has minigames. Each of the three different kinds of sass has its own kind of minigame, so that you can improve your skills on each one. There also is some variation in that they use the foe's sprite as part of the game. No longer did players need to rely on chance, but rather they could increase their skills. And as a final touch, to add understanding to this piece of game. There's now a spinning arrow before your opponent's turn, which shows which moves they could select, with a tilt being added for each time you successfully disrespect your foe. And that brings us to today. Cat Powered Combat has come a long way since its beginnings. So yeah, I learned a lot about <laughs> Uh, how players read or don't read when you uh, introduce turn-based combat to them. Uh, I think it's a lot better now that it has all these different sort of illustrations. Like you don't, you can almost get through the combat without really reading the text scrolling down the bottom. And for players who are really into that kind of thing, they can uh, they can 
get that extra enjoyment out of it by reading like specifically what you're doing to disrespect each person individually <laughs> but for the commoner they can just enjoy the flashy colors and animations yeah I am I'm pretty happy with where it is now it might be considered done I might even add some system to uh, to dodge your opponent's attacks that would be a whole lot more work just depends how big this project ends up being really um, there's this fine line between getting things done and making them perfect and I uh, feel like I'm always fighting on that <laughs> but thanks for watching my video um, hopefully if you're making a similar game you got some ideas to use for yours uh, feel free to talk to me in the comments and if you are making a game I'm happy to help you especially if it's something similar to what I'm doing and if you're using Game Maker Studio too that would make it a lot easier for me but even if you're not just uh, as far as concepts go I'm pretty happy to help other people out with their games as well if you've got any questions about cat powered UFO ask ask away it should be out on Steam as a playtestable or whatever they call it uh, playtest alpha pretty soon I'm almost done the boss fight I'm just fixing up a few things like I said with combat but yeah almost done thanks for keeping up so far guys I uh, appreciate it see ya